Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today I am going to show you about the discontinuous conduction mode of flyback converter. Okay. So so in the oscilloscope, I'll show you the I'll demonstrate you how how flyback converter works in a discontinuous converters. Okay. What is what is the magnetizing period of transformer what is the demagnetizing period of transformer what is the impact of leakage in inductance of the transformer what is the impact of transformer primary primary inductance what is the impact of switch node capacitance of the transformer how how your flyback converter works in a discontinuous conduction mode right how your flyback converter works in a discontinuous conduction mode uh, with no load and without with no load or without load or active worst mode how your flyback converter works and how your flyback converter works in a works with a load in discontinuous with full load with a discontinuous conduction mode okay so first i'll start with i'll start with uh, uh, discontinuous conduction mode uh, in no load or active worst mode then uh, later i'll explain the discontinuous conduction load with full load okay so this this waveform you can see here is discontinuous conduction mode with no load or active active burst mode right this is this waveform is for active active burst mode so you can see here this is waveform is active burst mode so first let us understand let us understand what is what is discontinuous conduction mode or DCM of flyback topology or flyback converter? So let me explain you the DCM discontinuous conduction mode. So a flyback is operating in discontinuous conduction mode when power stage is designed in a such a way to allow to allow the transformer to completely demagnetizing during each switching cycle okay so so the simplest form of the flyback design is is we have to design the flyback converter in in a fixed switching frequency mode that modulates the peak current peak current of the transformer peak current primary peak current to support the load demands okay to support the load demands so you can see here this is flyback converter in this continuous conduction mode mode with no load or active burst mode okay this is active burst mode you can see here somewhere the switching you can see here this is the switching period and then you can see here your flyback is totally off your flyback uh, tra your flyback converter is totally off that means there is no conduction in your mosfet and you, there is no energy storage in the primary inductance and after a period of time after a period of time you can see again there is a switching so they are designed to operate in uh, operate a fixed switching frequency and that modulates that modulates the primary peak current to support the load demands so let me explain a bit more I, you can see here i am zooming the one frequency bunch you can see they have the fixed switching frequency right they have the fixed switching frequency so let me explain a bit more now you can see they have the fixed switching frequency right they have the fixed switching frequency so you can see here you can see here this is the on time on time of the the mosfet during this during this time during this time what happens during the on time of the mosfet your transformer primary transformer store the primary current and your transformer primary currents ramp ups from from zero and this is this is the magnetizing time this is the magnetizing time that means your transformer primary binding of your transformer in storing the energy to its bucket during this time this is the on time right this is the on time and during this time this time is called demagnetization time so in this time your transformer primary primary current 
ramp down ramp down to the zero during this time your primary transform primary currents ramp down to the zero and your trans your transformer secondary currents ramps down to the zero so this is the on time and this is the off time you can say you during this time your mosfet conducts during this time your mosfet doesn't conduct that is your mosfet is off okay so so you can see here uh, i'll explain the ringing here later in the video and i also explain what is the impact of this resonance so basically what is this resonance this resonance cause this is this is the on time you should remember guys this is the on time and this is the this is the off time and this is the dead time or resonance time you can see the resonance ringing here this is the dead time or resonance time during this time your mosfet doesn't conduct your mosfet neither your mosfet nor your di body diode of your mosfet doesn't conduct so you can see this type of ringing this ringing causes with the with the primary inductance of the transformer and the switch node capacitance switch node capacitance uh, which comes the output uh, drain to source capacitance of the mosfet transformer internal winding capacitance or stray capacitance so since your transformer primary inductance is higher so this the frequency of this this ringing is in the let's say in the 1 megahertz so it's low and because of your your transformer primary inductance is higher and you can see here <clears throat> you can see here this is this is the you can see here a larger resonant ringing okay so even this resonant ringing you can see here it is very large and it sometimes since you don't have any load connected here it ramps down is it totally damped down okay and then you can see here this voltage is again your dc voltage okay so if you want to know how what is the voltage across mosfet drain to source when your when your mosfet is off so it sum up i'll sum up with the three terminology the mosfet drain to source voltage is is you can see here that this is the mosfet drain to source voltage when mosfet is off this comes with the dc voltage here plus the reflected voltage which comes from the secondary output and turns ratio and you can see here this is ringing which causes from the transformer leakage inductance and switch node capacitance okay since the leakage inductance of the transformer is very low so this ringing frequency is is a bit higher let's say it's 10 megahertz let's say this frequency is this frequency comes from transformer primary inductance lp and switch node capacitance so since the primary inductance of the transformer is higher so this frequency is very lower let's say it's it's lower compared to this frequency let's say if this is 1 megahertz this frequency is 1 megahertz and so this frequency will be 10 10 megahertz okay so so guys i am showing you the live demo of discontinuous conduction mode of uh, of a flyback converter or flyback topology you can see here this is this is on time this is this is magnetizing time or on time this is demagnetizing time or off time right and this is called dead time or resonant time okay so in the in the in the discontinuous conduction mode this time is bit higher if there is a no load connected to even you can see your damping ringing ringing is totally damping down right right so this you can see here this is the bunch of the frequency and it is a fixed frequency operation you can see guys here this this right so if you further try to understand the discontinuous control conduction mode in active burst mode you can see now now i will show you what happens to this this frequency this waveform when you you have connected the full load okay so guys now i have connected the full load and you can see how your flyback converter is you having in the full load right you can see here the waveform how your flyback converter is behaving in the full load of 
discontinuous conduction mode of operation. So you can see I'm trying to find out the frequency here. I'm trying to find out the set the frequency in oscilloscope. And you can see now everything is set. Now everything is set. And you can see here so many things which we might need to understand here, right? So you can see here this again, you can see when it there was no load you can see you have lots of ringing here until it totally damp down since now you have connected the full load you can see l one two three and four ringing here only four ringing here so guys this i i would like to explain you once again this is the on time here and this is the this is the ringing here you can see this ringing comes from the leakage inductance of the transformer and the the switch node capacitance here right and you can see this is the demagnetizing time during this time your transformer demagnetized it's it's all energy that means your bucket of your transformer primary winding empty got empty here and you can see this is the date time or resonant time during this time neither your transformer neither your sorry neither your mosfet nor your diode is conducting so during this time your energy is zero energy is zero in your transformer primary windings or transformer primary primary energy okay so in the energy stored in the transformer primary binding in zero until the next cycle until the next cycle okay so this is very important this this the voltage between mosfet drain to source to understand is very important why this is important because this is the trade off while you are selecting your mosfet right this is very trade off if you are if you are going to select any mosfet so this this drain to source voltage is combination of three voltages the dc voltage which is coming from the inputs then the reflected voltage which is coming from the trans output voltage vo the, uh, the times the turns ratio that is mp divided by ns and this voltage is coming from this voltage is called b spike v spike which comes from the leakage inductance and switch node capacitance so this voltage is vds if i say in one line how much is this voltage this is vds equals to vdc plus vro reflected voltage plus the v spike okay and now you already understood what is this period is what is this period and how this date time and origin and time is work okay maybe i'll try to show you the frequency here right so let me let me let me set the cursor here so i will show you what is the frequency here right so let me show you guys so the frequency let me adjust the cursor okay so the frequency you can say the frequency for not not this so you have to come here right so the frequency for this is you can see the frequency is around it's around like 972 nanosecond so it would be around 1 mega 1 megahertz right it would be around 1 megahertz so the frequency for resonant time are the frequency generated by transformer primary inductance is and switch node capacitance is 1 megahertz since your transformer primary inductance is higher the frequency there you can see is lower now i want to show the frequency which is generated by the transformer leakage inductance and switch node capacitance and this you can see is around 100 nanosecond that means it's around 10 megahertz so you can see here here the frequency is higher and there there the frequency is lower okay so guys hope you understood now in the live demo how your transformer uh, flyback flyback converter works in discontinuous conduction mode and what is different type of mode waveforms in active burst mode what is the drain to source waveform in active burst mode and full load 